and CEO of the Walt Disney Company, Bob Iger. to share this historic event, this historic moment, with all of you. For 60 years, Disneyland has been the happiest place on Earth. And tonight, well, it feels even happier. <laughs> and we've got a lot of happy people here with us tonight, including our COO, Tom Staggs, and our new chairman of Parks and Resorts, Bob Chapin. It's an enormous privilege and quite an extraordinary experience to lead the wonderful company Walt Disney founded over 90 years ago. And it's a true honor to stand here tonight on the site of one of his greatest achievements as we usher in the celebration of Disneyland's Diamond Celebration just a few steps from where Walt welcomed his first guests. Aww. Now, few companies have both a legendary past as well as a limitless future. But Walt founded this company with an enduring spirit of creativity and innovation, one that continues to define our phenomenal company, allowing us to keep moving forward without ever losing sight of who we are and where it all started. On July 17th, 1955, Walt Disney opened the gates of Disneyland for the first time and introduced to the world to this magical place, where fantasy comes to life, where optimism and joy lift even the heaviest of spirits, and where all who enter leave with special memories that last a lifetime. And it was the culmination of a dream one that he held very close to his heart because it came from his own deep desire to spend quality time with his daughters. Walt wanted to create a happy place where families could have a great time together with attractions and entertainment and experiences that touch our hearts and delight the child in all of us. Where people could leave their woes and worries, or as Walt fondly called them, daily frets outside the gates and enjoy a few carefree hours. Now, there were plenty of naysayers who thought his ideas were too ambitious and virtually impossible to build. And yet, here we are, 60 years later, celebrating the triumph of imagination in a place where dreams really do come true. And everything you see in Disneyland today, in fact, everything in our parks and resorts worldwide, is a continuation of Walt's dream. A dream that has grown well beyond a former orange grove in Anaheim, to Orlando, and to Tokyo, to Paris, to Hong Kong, and soon to mainland China, in Shanghai, when we open the gates of Shanghai Disneyland next year. Now, I'm fairly certain Walt would be extremely proud, certainly amazed at how far we've come, especially the way his glorious dream has captured the imagination of the world, entertained billions of people, and earned the affection and appreciation across continents and cultures. And Disneyland, the place that started it all, is definitely, as he so prophetically predicted, a source of joy and inspiration for all the world. Walt opened Disneyland with a brief but powerful dedication. And his words on that historic occasion still resonate not just here, but in every Disney resort. And so tonight, as we celebrate the achievement of his dream, I'd like to share Walt's words with just one slight addition to honor all that his dream has become in the last 60 years. To all who have come to this happy place, thank you. And to all who will come to this happy place, welcome. Disneyland is truly your land. And to all of you here tonight, 
Thanks for being part of this historic celebration. We're thrilled to have you here for this milestone and for the debut of our electrifying new parade, as well as our brand new fireworks spectacular. And you're the very first guests to see these fantastic new additions, and we hope you enjoy them. And to Disneyland, happy 60th anniversary. Thank you.